Hey, what's up guys? Aldrin Nastasio here with flypath.com and now that you're all set up, let's take this down to the field and now let me give you a few quick tips to get you up and running safely. So now that we're all set up and we're out into the field, what you want to do is first is find an open field, an open park, an open grass area where there's no one around for you to fly your Mavic for the first time. Uh, you want to do this as safe as possible. You want to be away from people uh, and a lot of open area for you to safely fly your drone. Uh, there's a couple of quick tips I'm gonna give you that uh, we'll go through so that you can make sure you're up and flying safely, uh, as well as some of the settings on this uh, DJI map that you'll want to make sure you're on before you get going. So the first thing you wanna do when you get down to the field is make sure that your gimbal cover and your gimbal lock has been removed. Like I mentioned before in my previous video, if you have that gimbal lock on there and you power up your Mavic, it's gonna be very restricted and your Mavic uh, gimbal might overheat. You wanna make sure that's removed before you turn on, your, uh, turn on your drone. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and find a flat surface and place your Mavic uh, away from you. So you always want it pointing away from you when you first start your drone. You don't want it pointed forward or towards you like this, and I'll tell you exactly why once we get it up in the air. You always want your Mavic facing out away from you, camera facing out. So we'll go ahead and start it that way. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and power on your remote and then power on your Mavic and then start the DJI Go app. So let's go ahead and do that. So we went ahead and launched the DJI Go app and we are all connected here. The remote is connected to the craft and the DJI Go app is now powered on. So the first thing you wanna do is because this is more than likely your first or one of the first times you're gonna be flying this thing is you're gonna go into the menu system here and you're gonna tap on the top right corner, uh, the three dots. And the first thing you wanna do is click on the very first icon, which is that little drone icon. And because we are in a sense all beginners here, what you wanna start off is in beginner mode and make sure that's green and turned on. What beginner mode basically does, it restricts the amount of distance, or the, the distance away you're able to fly your drone as well as the height. Uh, and it also only lets you fly when GPS is ready. So it won't let you fly in any other mode, like sport mode or anything like that. That way it makes sure, it wants to make sure that all of your sensors are on, your vision positioning is on, and it'll only allow you to fly when those things are on. So let's go ahead and make sure those uh, few, few things are on. Once you have beginner mode set, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the return to home altitude. So in that box here on the right, it'll say return to home altitude, uh, 30 meters, more than likely 30 meters might be set by default, but you wanna make sure that it's even set because sometimes they might be preset to zero. And the reason why you wanna do that is 30 meters will give you about 90 feet or so in height. So if you're flying your drone, uh, well not in beginner mode, but if you're flying your drone elsewhere and you're far away, and if it ever had to go back into return to home, it'll then go up to 30 meters from where it's at, turn around, go up to 30 meters, about 90 feet or so, and then start heading back. And the reason why you wanna set that height is we wanna first look around your environment to see what is the tallest things around you. It might be trees, it might be power lines and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure that the height you're setting is a lot higher than that. That way, if you did lose connection and it had to fly back, it's not gonna run into any of those things. So now that your beginner mode is set, as well as your return to home height, what you'll wanna do now is calibrate the compass. And to do that, what you're gonna do is go on the very top left uh, where it says ready to fly. You're gonna tap on that. And then the next button down or two buttons down is gonna be the button for calibrate. What you're gonna do is go ahead and hit calibrate and it'll say press start to begin compass calibration. And you're gonna to wanna to ca calibrate your compass every time you fly because every time you are traveling or every time you're moving to a different location, what you wanna do is just make sure that your compass is calibrated. That way it gets your positioning and everything accurate to exactly where you are. So this is something that will literally take you about 30 seconds to do. Um, I definitely recommend doing it almost every time you fly. A lot of people say you don't have to do it. I definitely recommend doing it because like I said, it only takes about 30 seconds to do. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and hit calibrate and hit okay. And what's gonna come up is a screen that shows you how to properly calibrate your aircraft. So first things first, it's gonna tell you to rotate your, your uh, camera 360 degrees horizontally. So what you're gonna do is with the camera facing out still, just pick it up straight 
and then basically do a what they call the compass dance which is just turn around 360 degrees and your light on the bottom of the Mavic will turn from yellow to green and right now it's green that means I made my full circle and once you go here and it turns green you're now going to point it straight down and then do another 360 again and once it's done calibrating you'll see the green light now start to go green flashing so it'll start flashing green once it starts flashing green, that means you have a, a correct uh, calibration on your compass. If it does not, and if it turns yellow again, what you're going to want to do is uh, cancel that calibration and do it again. And you might want to try doing it in a different location. So if you are trying to, if you're having trouble calibrating your compass on your Mavic, you might have a couple issues around you. You might have magnetic uh, interference around, or you might just, it just might have been a bad compass calibration. So what you want to do is move to a different location. It could be uh, in a, you know, the grass area or another part of this sidewalk here, but make sure that once it's calibrated, you see the green flashing lights. And then once you do, it should say on the application that it's ready to go in GPS mode. And that means you're all ready to go and the compass has been calibrated for you for takeoff. So now that your compass has been calibrated and you're almost ready to take off, there's a couple things that you'll want to set for your camera. Just for now, we'll go through and put everything on auto. That way it makes sure, it'll make sure that you're at least getting some auto um, exposures set. So on the, on the right hand side here, you're going to see a, an icon right below your camera button. And we'll go ahead and press that. And what it's going to show you now is that you are set to, for camera mode, you're set on auto. And if you click on the button to the right of that, which is a camera and video setting option, it now switches to video and you're going to hit the uh, slider button again and make sure this is on auto as well. So both of them are on auto, which basically means right now when you go up and fly, the camera will do all the settings uh, in auto mode. So it's not in manual mode at this point. You'll want to, of course, go into manual mode once you start getting a little bit more advanced. But for now, let's just make sure it's in auto mode. That way, when you're up in the air, uh, the exposure will look uh, fairly correct based on the camera settings. Now that the camera is all set up, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and take off. So there's a couple ways to, to uh, actually launch your Mavic. The first way is to press the button on the left hand side of your remote. Um, there's a little arrow that's pointing up. This way it'll actually do it by itself. And what will happen is once you click that button and slide the um, uh, slide for takeoff, it will then launch by itself and hover a few feet off the ground. So what you want to do is go ahead and slide. And then once you do that, the Mavic will then start and hover in place right here. So as you can see, I basically did not do anything. I didn't have to control any of the sticks. The Mavic launched by itself and it stays right there in the air. So the same way we took off, you can actually do an auto land. So what you want to do is bring your Mavic to an open area for you to land it. Press that down arrow now and then go and slide to land. And it'll tell me that the aircraft is descending to 0.5 meters slides to continue landing. To do a manual takeoff, first you're going to need to start up your motors. To do that, what you're going to want to do is push the sticks of your controller down and in. So it'll be down and in to start the motors and we'll go ahead and do that now. Push down and in. So your motors have now started up. Uh, in order for you to now take off, like I said, you still want to make sure that your, your, your camera and your drone are facing away from you. To take off, all you're simply going to do is take the left stick and push it straight up. And then you, once it hovers, you can then let go of the sticks and control the height, basically, from your sticks right now. So just by pushing up the, the um, thrust on the left-hand stick, you're going to want to push it all the way up, get it off the ground, and then you can get it back to idle in the middle. And you're basically doing the exact same thing what auto takeoff does, except you did it manually. So you have control over the sticks now, where you can go up and down just by you controlling the left hand stick. Now to land, what you're going to want to do is very similar. Fly your drone to a nice open area. Go ahead and push down on the left hand stick. And what's going to happen is the controller or the Mavic will slow because the sensors on the bottom are looking for the ground. So you'll see it, even though you press down on the stick, it'll go down about to about a few feet off the ground. The sensors will read the, the ground you're trying to land on. And then by you holding down that left stick, it knows to initiate landing. So it'll automatically go down and start landing. 
So once it does that, all you have to do is hold down the left stick all the way up until your motors stop and your Mavic should have landed safely. So now that we have the basic takeoff and landing, what we'll want to do is go ahead and do our first flight and go ahead and take off and practice as far as hovering goes and also practice what the controllers and the sticks are actually doing when you are controlling uh, the Mavic. So we'll go ahead and do the first, things, first thing and go ahead and take off. And this is the reason why I want to show you why you want to have the camera and Mavic always pointed away from you uh, uh, once we take off. So let me go ahead and show you that. So let's go ahead and do a manual takeoff. So I'm gonna put my sticks in and push straight up. So the Mavic right now is hovering and is pointed out in that direction. So what you wanna do is the left stick, what that the left stick actually controls is the height of your Mavic. So if you push up on the left stick, it'll go up. And let me go a little bit further so you can see this. So if you push up on the left stick, your Mavic will go up. If you push down on the left stick, your Mavic goes down, descends. If you turn left on the stick, the Mavic will actually turn and yaw left. If you turn right, it'll turn and yaw right. Uh, and the more important thing is the right stick. And this is the reason why I say you always want to have your camera and your drone pointed directly away from you. Because when you are controlling your right stick, the right stick, if you push up, will go forward. And if you push back on it, your Mavic will come backwards towards you. If you turn left on the left stick, it rolls left. And if you press right on the stick, it rolls right. And the reason why I say you wanna make sure it's pointed away from you because the, 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 the right stick will mimic, the, the drone mimics the right stick when it's in this position. If your aircraft is turned around and pointed towards you, then everything you're doing is opposite. So by going forward on the stick actually brings it closer to me and then bringing it back brings it, pushing it forward goes back. So if you're gonna lose orientation, the most of the people crash because they're losing orientation. And this is one, one reason why um, I always recommend always pointing it away from you. If I push left on my stick, the drone actually goes right. And if I push right on my stick, it goes left. And it's because of the fact it's turned backwards, turned 180 towards me. So for beginners, I always recommend keeping your drone facing outward. That way your right stick, uh, your, your drone will mimic your right stick pretty uh, as a natural, um, as natural movements with your right stick. So going forward goes forward, going back goes back, going left goes left, and going right goes right. So you'll take it out a little bit further, practice going right. And then the one thing you always wanna do is just start off by doing basic squares in the air. So left, forward, right, back. And once you start getting good at the flying modes for that, then you can practice doing figure eights. And figure eights are basically what it sounds like. You're gonna go forward, turn the drone around, go forward again, and turn the drone around the other way. So you're just gonna go around, go straight, and turn the drone around, and go forward and straight, and just do a bunch of figure eights this way. That way it gets you used to the orientation of the aircraft, it'll get you used to how, uh, what the controllers are actually doing. Uh, and don't forget, we are in beginner mode, so this is actually going really slow. Um, and there you go. So just do a bunch of figure eights just to practice orientation, then once you're done with that, bring it back in. And even the same way, like taking off, what you want to do is bring it back in in reverse is what I always recommend. That way, it's, it does the same controls. You, boot, you can pull back on the right stick and it'll slowly come back to you. Once you get to an open area again, go ahead and bring it down. Press down on that left stick. It'll then slow because it's reading, the, the sensors are reading the ground. Keep holding down and then it'll eventually land. Uh, once you get up in the air, you're gonna want to then find an object that's far in the distance and go ahead and click on that. And what that's gonna do is it's now gonna autofocus your camera. So go ahead and click on an area that you wanna focus to in the distance. That way it'll set your focus. 
So unlike, like I said, the Phantom 3 and Phantom 4s, which are already set to infinity focus, the Mavic and the Phantom 4 Pro, as well as Inspire, are manually, um, you have to actually click to autofocus it. So make sure you do that, because if not, you're gonna come back home with a lot of blurry footage. So once you go ahead and click on the screen, your camera will now focus on the specific distance or objects that you're um, planning on shooting. And now everything should be in focus at that point. Make sure you go ahead and hit record on your camera. A lot of times people forget and don't hit record, which is a very important thing. Uh, I did that mistake a ton of times. I thought I had a really good shot and I was really stoked. Came back home, forgot I did not even record it. So go ahead and hit record. You can either do video or photo. And once you are recording, you can go ahead and fly and see what type of footage you get. So because I'm in beginner mode, right now I tried going up and my max height is 20 meters. So all that's really doing is in beginner mode is just making sure that you're not going too high and too fast and too far if you're just starting out uh, learning how to fly the, uh, the Mavic. So that's what beginner mode is for. Once you start getting a little bit more advanced, you'll be able to turn that off and you can understand and we'll go through, uh, you can start understanding how all the other features work and then we'll also talk a little bit more about sport mode in another video. So there it is guys, the basic uh, launch and landing with the DJI Mavic Pro. I didn't want to go into too much detail for this first one. What I want you guys to do is take those baby steps to practice and learn some of the functionality that this thing does have to offer. Uh, but first and foremost, if you're not familiar with it, stay in beginner mode. That limits your height and your distance. Um, the main thing also that I recommended was the return to home. Set that, look around your surroundings and see what is the highest um, thing around you and make sure that you're set above that. Uh, then the last thing is calibrate. Calibrate almost pretty much every time you go out. Uh, some people like to say that they don't have to calibrate, they don't do it. It takes 30 seconds to do. That way you take off one thing off that checkoff list in case anything were to happen. The first thing people are asking you is did you calibrate your compass when you got to your location? So take that 30 seconds or a minute to do it. That way you have one less thing to worry about once you get up in the air. I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll be ideally coming out with a new video every week to help all the flyers out there, not only giving you guys some basic information, but uh, as well as giving you guys some of the things that I've learned over the years of flying, uh, some tips, uh, and you know, just basic things that um, I think a lot of manuals, a lot of other videos might not be able to share. So don't forget to subscribe for all the videos. I hope this helped. Once again, this is Aldrin Astacio with flightpath.com. Stay safe out there, guys. Thanks.